Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you guys a new update for the iPhone 5S and uh, above. So this one is going to be a nice update. So we got uh, iOS 11.3 which we've been waiting for such, uh, for a long while. So here it uh, introduces new features including ARKit 1.5, the support for more immersive augmented reality experience. You've got the iPhone battery health, which is on beta mode right now. You've got the new emojis for iPhone X users and more. So this update also includes stability improvements and bug fixes. And then if you go to learn more, you'll find a lot more. So we've just read that bit. So you've got the augmented reality, so ARKit 1.5 there. So it allows developers to place digital ob uh, objects on vertical surfaces like walls and doors in addition to horizontal surfaces. Add support for detecting and incorporating images like film posters or artwork. So they've got quite a lot of updates. So I think it was just about 698 MB, so nearly 700 MB worth. So this time they've actually done quite a lot of improvements. So here's the important one for the iPhone 5S users. And that's the iPhone battery health. So with this, you can find out whether if your battery is in a good state or not. So displays information on iPhone maximum battery capacity and peak performance capacity. Indicates if the performance management features that dynamically manages maximum performance to prevent unexpected shutdown is on and includes the option to disable it. And it recommends if your battery needs to be replaced. So I think this is going to be the most important one for all the iPhone users where you get the uh, phone suddenly slow. I just suddenly shuts down. So with this, you can turn that off so it doesn't run slow, so it can actually run faster. But then the only problem is your battery is going to go faster if there's a problem with the battery. So it will indicate if you've got a problem as well. So I would recommend if you need to change the battery. Uh, for the iPad, for the iPad charge management, it maintains battery health when iPad is connected to power. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of uh, new ones. So uh, you got the new and emojis for the iPhone X. So it introduces the lion, bear, dragon, and skull emoji. So then you got the new feature, privacy as well. Apple Music, so a new music video experience. So there's updated music video section as well. So if you guys want to read that, you can just pause the video and then read it through if you wanted. Uh, so you got the App Store as well, Safari. So this is more to do with autofill. You've got the new keyboards as well. It improves quite a bit on larger screens. Accessibility. So you've got quite a lot of uh, improvements going on, which is quite good. So there you go. So you can see it resolves quite a lot of issues. Uh, on the lock screen as well, for notification disappear, resolves issue with Face ID, to ask to buy a request. So there's quite a lot of uh, fixes on this one, which is quite good. And um, it makes the phone as well a lot more faster. So I'm hoping that is the case. So whilst, whilst that is downloading, I'll uh, come back. And I'll be also doing like a Geekbench score as well, just to show you guys what kind of difference it's been making. And um, yeah, so I'll just wait for that to finish. This should be about roughly 45 minutes, 425. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So the update has now just been finished. You can see you press the home button to finish setting up iOS 11. So you just got to enter your pin. There you go. So update completed. And now you've got this new part where you've got data and privacy. So the icon appears when an Apple feature asks you to use your personal information. So you go all that. So you'll have a little um, icon coming up there if they're using your data. So you just press continue. And there we go, get started. And uh, I'll just quickly go to the settings. General. So there you go. So we've got some memory back as well. So a version 11.3 and we've got 10.18 gigs. Uh, before I had like 9.18, I believe it was. There you go. Uh, 9.52 on iOS 11.2.6. So you got a good update there. And the other new feature just to show you is now the battery. So now we will find out 
how good so you got the patch percentage so that's the usual oh, for some reason on the iPhone 5s they never put down the iPhone uh, if it's uh, if it's on a good health mode or not because normally it gives you like a percentage of how good the battery is from new uh, but for some reason for the iPhone 5s they never added it I'm not sure why because normally you can um, turn it off for so you've got the low power mode which is normally on there because you should have another section here which shows the I'll just quickly show you guys what it actually should look like so I'll just quickly show you guys how it looks on the iPhone 10. So here you can see on battery mode, so you've got the battery percentage there. Obviously with the iPhone X you can't get the battery percentage, you have to swipe down. But you've got low power mode, low power mode here as well. But then here it says bat uh, battery health. And then you can see here for the iPhone 10 it's 97%. So peak performance, you can't really do anything because it's, um, it's supporting the normal peak performance. But for the iPhone 5S they never added it for some reason even though that was the main big feature for this update so I'm not really sure why they didn't add that but hopefully it should be a lot more smoother because uh, obviously they were saying that this would be a lot more faster more stable so I'm just going to do a Geekbench score and check it out what it is running so I'll quickly come back once this is uh, finished so we've got the result here there. So for the single core score is 1292, multi core score is 2188, and that is for iOS 11.3. So if I show you guys a comparison with the old one, there we go. So there's the two new ones. So it has been an update. So but on iOS 11.2.6, it was 1267, and it's gone up to 1292 and before multi core was 2212 now it's gone down to 2188 so a little bit of upgrade for the single core but then a little bit of a downgrade for multi core um, but hopefully uh, it should be a lot faster they've updated quite a lot of stuff so hoping it should be okay but yeah so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe